Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So in this video, we're going to have a look at what's been going on with Gas Hero, the new game from Fine Satoshi Lab, um, the company behind Steppen, the move to earn game that was really big in 2022. So it's just launched its uh, new game, Gas Hero, and uh, it's really um, sort of been capturing the attention um, of, uh, at least when it's looking at NFT trading. But there's a lot of weird stuff about this game, um, particularly in the, in the way um, that it is NFT gated and has these NFTs that are actually, actually um, sort of die <laughs> over time. Um, so it's sort of worth looking into this a little bit. So I've done a video about my sort of first play with the game and it's sort of really weird that you play the game and uh, you, you can play through basically a very simple tutorial, but to actually get into the game, you have to own a specific NFT. So we're just going to sort of look through some of this stuff. Before We'll look through that sort of flow. But before we do that, let's just look at uh, what's been going on in terms of NFT trading. So this is um, Crypto Slam, which basically looks across all, uh, or pretty much all uh, blockchains and looks at NFT trading. So the last seven days, what's been going on? Um, so some ordinal stuff on Bitcoin has obviously been going a bit sort of crazy, as it has been for um, <laughs> like six months since ordinals came along. Um, we don't need to worry ourselves about those things. Uh, but if we look here at number two, so we have Gas Hero Common Gas Hero Common Heroes. Um, so over twelve million dollars worth of trading. We have uh, Gas Hero coupons. Um, coupons, uh, as far as I understand them, are coupons that you can then sort of um, create other things with. They're sort of like a, you know like a gacha sort of. You're not quite sure what you've got there. Um, you have Gas Hero items. So these are. Um, uh, items that you can uh, have various different sort of uses in the game. Um, one of which is to is to get access to that uh, the vehicle you need to actually start the game. We have Gas Hero weapons. Um, so both these both these have about you know these Gas Hero coupons is six point six and a half million. Gas Hero items uh, five point six million. Gas Hero weapons five point six million. So in total, this is about twenty seven twenty eight million dollars worth of trading. There are actually I don't think they're showing on here. There are actually um, Gas Hero Genesis heroes as well, <laughs> so we can sort of look at all this um, uh, stuff. So, but, but basically, there's a lot of lot of um, trading going on. So if you look, you know, there's a few other you know uh, projects that are sort of doing a lot of trading, some you know, and a PFP thing on Solana. But basically, in the top ten, you've got uh, four Gas Hero. Um, in the top eight, you've got four Gas Hero collections. And the Gas Hero has just launched, so this is only the last sort of um, seven days it's been there. So obviously this is a lot of trading going on now. Maybe won't be so much in two weeks' time, but that's what we got. And actually, we can. this is actually, um, if you look at Polygon as a total, it's done about $38.5 million worth of trading um, over the last seven days. And so Gas Hero has done 28 of that. <laughs> so Gas Hero is by far the majority of trading on Polygon at the moment. So we can see Polygon's up 221% in the last seven days, and that's all due to Gas Hero. If you look at the numbers, I mean, it's not a lot. So it's um, sort of 2,000 wallets here, uh, 1,000 wallets here, 2,000 wallets here. So, so it's not, again, it's not like a enormous amounts of people, 18,000 people on, on the, doing uh, uh, skin trading on D-Market. So it's a fairly small group of people, and in a sense, these are the these are the sort of um, uh, fine Satoshi Lab uh, sort of hardcore guys, people who are probably quite heavily involved with uh, Stepern, people who who were part of the NFT sort of minting process via these coupons, people who have the GMT token, that's the token um, for Gas Hero and token for Stepern as well. Um, so that's what's going on. A lot of trading going on. We'll see how it sort of pans out. Um, we can also look here, so this is showing us, that this is um, the, uh, obviously you can trade Polygon um, NFTs anywhere, uh, but more, uh, M-O-O-R-A.com, that's the um, sort of native marketplace for these NFT uh, NFTs to be traded. So we can see here, um, this is a bit more detail, the top eight <laughs> positions are held by Gas Hero. So we, so we have Gas Hero Common Heroes. Um, we can see the volume here. This is all in the GMT token. So a G this is the floor price, the lowest price you can buy at. So the, the sort of GMT token now is about 0 0.3, 0 0.4 dollars. To, to, um, so it's about 30, 30 cents, 40 cents. So if we sort of, this is roughly, you know, $1,000. Um, so, so these are roughly $1,000 to buy. I mean, items are smaller. Coupons, uh, these are actually in, in Matic, the Polygon token. Um, some fragments, so this is, we can look at this in a bit more detail. This is sort of, a, you know, a, 
other things you can do around heroes and the genesis heroes 41,000 GMT tokens, so that's like $15,000, $14,000 to buy buy one of these. There's not very many of those, only 300 of those. I think there's a there's a cap on how many there can ever be. And even in terms of the common heroes, there's uh, 25,000. We have pets as well, um, have these badges. Um, again, <laughs> super expensive. Um, so if we look at the um, items, so the thing you need here to actually uh, unlock the game is this base constructor vehicle so you need one of these to start playing the blockchain bit of the game you can play the tutorial um, but you need one of these these to create a base so this is um, again you know like you know if you do the maths on that sort of seven seven hundred dollars eight hundred dollars um, that's the lowest price I mean I don't think it, I'm not sure there's any rarities on this I don't think it really matters which ones you what you buy but the sort of the thing is once you buy one of those you also then need um, heroes so you have up to six heroes. Um, so that's you know uh, suddenly suddenly getting sort of crazily expensive uh, if you think heroes are a thousand dollars each, and and it gets even more peculiar. Okay, so let's go through here. This is the website. This is the Gas Heroes sort of um, how to play the game sort of thing. So um, one of the interesting things here is it's showing it in mobile. So it's a mo it's a mobile game designed as a mobile game, but um, it's not th you can't get it through App Store. So it's only currently playable on on a on a browser. Um, so you can play it on a desktop browser or a mobile browser. Excuse me. Um, but you can't go for it for app stores because app stores don't allow NFT gated games. And this is an NFT gated game, which currently costs, you know, whatever, um, hundreds of dollars to, to get into. So I let go through all this about creating wallets. Okay, so we assume you go through and create a wallet. You go through the tutorial. I've already done a video about this. You get four free heroes and you go through. Um, and then it sort of says... Um, um, Okay, next one, setting up your base. So this is to actually start playing the game. Look for an empty base. This is the point at which you need that base <laughs> that base NFT. Um, to settle down, you need a base constructor vehicle. You can buy one on the marketplace. So that's basically what we just looked at and looked at the price <laughs> of, of those things. Um, so fine if you sort of won one in the in the sort of, um, you know, the raffle or, or, the, or the sort of uh, the way the NFTs were minted before Christmas. But um, otherwise you're spending, you know, whatever, $800 for that. Um, and you can pick a place or there's random places where you can go. But uh, it's sort of really odd when you're playing the tutorial and suddenly you get this pop up and it's not very clear how you <laughs> how you access this NFT. Um, and, they don't, and they don't really help you very much on that. Um, so the other thing is you need these heroes. Um, so you need to get heroes as well. Um, and you and there's a whole bunch of details about the sort of code names here. But uh, you basically have build a squad of up to uh, six of these and then you fight other other people. Um, so you need these heroes, so you, re you need to buy these, um, and obviously the um, you need the more you have, the, the more successful you're going to be. So, so, so totally play to win, um, pay to win even, um, and uh, you can you can buy capsules um, and open those, and some of those will be Genesis ones. Why well, Genesis ones um, interesting? We'll look at that in a minute. You can buy frag fragments and breed as well, but you need hero potions and GMT. So there's a whole bunch of sort of stuff you can do here. So this is this is the really this is the weirdest thing I found. So you have these heroes. You can have up to six of them. You have to buy them. Common heroes have a lifespan of 20 days. That is in, that is literally once you start playing with them, after 20 days they're dead because the whole sort of conceit of the game is it's in this sort of biohazard universe. Um, so you know there's all this nasty stuff going around. So so you, basically you're paying to create a base that's permanent then you need these heroes which either you're buying or you maybe you know got minted some nfts or maybe you'll sort of earn some bits and bobs as you're playing the game to sort of get some of them but basically you're having a, a a fairly expensive asset that uh, is going to last 20 days or at best 60 days so the reason the genesis ones are so expensive is they last forever so so they're fifteen thousand dollars because they're not going to die <laughs> whereas, whereas all these other ones are basically just gonna you know gonna die um, heroes can carry weapons or pets once equipped these cannot be removed so that's a sort of um, sort of again another weird thing so you can equip a weapon or a pet but you can't remove it you can put in new weapons or pets presumably the weapons and pets are used up as well so you have this whole sort of um, sort of system where apart from the Genesis um, characters 
all this stuff's being used up. So you're so you potentially you're spending a lot of money um, creating these things, or you're spending a lot of money to get into the game to maybe then create some more things. Um, but then all this stuff is is disposable um, in the sense that it's being used. I don't think stuff like per, I think permadeath is quite an interesting model my, myself for blockchain games, but I don't think it's something that you potentially build into the foundational DNA of the game. Um, particularly if you're asking people to pay all this money um, to do those sort of things. I mean, that just seems, um, yeah, it's great for a certain number of people, and maybe that's why we see a few thousand people playing this game, because they got into it um, for, for free, or, or um, you yeah, know, they're just really into that sort of game. But um, it seems like quite a, um, it's, I mean, it's not the same as Axie Infinity in that way, um, but it seems like more of a play-to-earn game of the sort of the first generation, rather than one that, um, is actually sort of expanding the market. And I guess that's what's interesting is, is does this game, you know, it's obviously it's designed as a mobile game. If they want to put it through app stores, you can't do any of this stuff. And actually, um, Stepan was it was one of the first game to use, to, to have in-app purchases for NFTs using Apple Pay. So uh, Finding Satoshi Lab knows exactly how to do this sort of stuff. <laughs> so I'd be amazed if this, this doesn't go through app stores, but this version of the game, this maybe this is just season zero, or season one, um, definitely can't go through app stores at the moment um but it's called a social a social sort of rpg strategy game so you would think that they want to have lots of people playing it um <laughs> which obviously isn't going to happen if people have to spend thousands of dollars um to to get in there's a whole bunch of interesting stuff about clans and guilds so i think at the moment people are going in here because if you are a clan boss or something like that you can you can earn um from uh, you, you can earn a share of, of all the sort of activity going on there. There's prize pools and things like that, so it's quite valuable for those very big players or clans or guilds who are going to be doing that sort of stuff. But um, this is not something that um, is going to be, you know, for the vast majority of individual players. Um, so that's a bit of a, a, a sort of a shock. So you have these district, uh, district and and guild auction houses. Um, so so there's an, an auction process going on there, and obviously the guilds are then sort of getting some of that um, sort of financial um, uh, aspect. So so you know it is a, a, a I wouldn't say it's a complicated game, but I think it's a game that that feels a little bit um, out of its time, um, and a game that was a bit of a shock in terms of having very few of these games have are NFT gated in this way. I mean some of the very um, arch blockchain sort of ones still are but for a mobile social game this seems a very weird sort of juxtaposition of game design and um supposed audience so the the interesting thing i think to see will be gas hero obviously now is really engaging with its core crypto audience um which seems to be going fine um at what point and how are they gonna unlock that for a free-to-play audience who I just maybe just want to play a game without spending any money and get some rewards or get become part of a clan. And obviously, with any game, we've seen with Axie, um, where you needed to buy three axes to start playing the game, people were spending $1,000 to get in there, and then you just got oversupply um, of, of, of axes and the price of axes sort of you know, rapidly drops, um, and the whole thing it becomes unsustainable. So that's always the problem with these sort of economies, um, how you expand them. Uh, if there is this sort of earning mechanic in there. So that's the fascinating thing to see. Um, I think it's, you know, obviously good, <laughs> good to see all this trading going on. That's good for the, for, for, for uh, people in, in, the, in this community, but um, how they can expand that from thousands into tens or hundreds of thousands of players. It's clearly the key thing. Uh, and we can also see here, this is showing us the, um, the, pr the price. The prices are already sort of dropping quite a lot. Um, and that's, um, you know these things can be quite volatile so maybe they'll go up again sort of later on but you know 50 percent changes in in floor price over a day um is probably probably not what you want to see when you just launched the game anyway keep an eye on what's going on with gas here i think it's really fascinating and obviously it's part of a, a wider strategy or a wider sort of trend about um sort of blockchain games at the moment generally in crypto um so lots of people are sort of looking at this sort of stuff um and i'll be doing that as well so uh thanks for watching this one see you again soon